everyone! Welcome to another Animal Crossing video. Today, we're going to be working on our second day on the island. And seeing what we can get done without time traveling. Um, I'm really excited for this upcoming Monday. Um, I think it's, yeah, August, August 30th. <laughs> because that is when we're going to be going, uh... Villager hunting for our first three villagers, which I'm really excited for. And, um, I low-key hope we don't get cats right away, because I would like all of our cats so we get to have their, like, actual home decor, if that makes sense. I don't want them to have, like, their not-actual housing, uh, decoration. <laughs> so, uh, today, we're gonna work on whatever Mr. Tomnook wants us to work on. And, yeah! I hope you'll enjoy watching. Good day, everyone. Tom Nook here. Time for an island-wide broadcast. Your source for island news. I'll go over some things that are very important to island life, so lend me your island ears for a short time. I can't say I have much in the way of news to report to you today. You know. This morning, I happened upon a rare colored seashell while walking along the beach. They're known as summer shells, and the name suggests you can only find them during the summer. This is a good opportunity to enjoy some DIY crafting and turn those shells into summer memorabilia. That's pretty cool. So right now on the island, we only have um, Sherry as well as Lyman. So I think when we do eventually go villager hunting uh, for our first three babies outside of these two cuties right here, um, I'm probably just going to take whatever we can get. Um, if it happens to be a cat that I want, hooray. Um, obviously not required by any means. <laughs> Uh, let's see. So, right now we have little to nothing on our, uh, on our board. But one thing I do know we can do real quick to get some quick nook miles is to write on this. The island board. Let's see. I want to make a heart. <laughs> Good Good enough. <laughs> Beautiful. And that should give us some Nook Mile tickets. There we go. Picture this. Getting Nook Miles from the Nook Mile Incorporated. The first time you write something on the island's bulletin board, or when first time you write something on the bulletin board, keep using the bulletin boards to communicate with everyone on the island. Yes, yes. <laughs> okay. So for now... We're gonna do some de-weeding. Cause we got weeds everywhere. Also, can I just say like how in love I am with our map? Like a nearly centered residence center and so on. I'm I'm really happy with it. <laughs> like super super happy. And I think for now, what we'll probably do is. I'm gonna keep all of the villagers on the beach for now. And then later on, when I actually start to plan out more the island when we unlock terraforming, then we will uh, move them. Because I really want to do a neighborhood with all of them. I just, I don't know. I've always, I've always loved the neighborhoods I would see people do and I also think it's a good way to keep, like, your villagers, I guess for, like, a lack of a better word, like, organized? Is that a good way to put that? And so, yeah. <laughs> that is, that is indeed the plan right now. Oh, I should probably also go talk to Mr. Nook real quick to see if, um, he wants us to do anything specific. Not mis if I'm not mistaken, there is something for us to do, um, on day two.
Mr. Nook, hello! Ah, Biddy, welcome, welcome. As you can see, it's quite co cozy in here. It's funny how cozy doesn't always mean comfortable, hmm? Let me know if you need advice on how to spend your time on the island or anything else. If you need some advice on the basic materials, you should talk to Jimmy. He can help you procure some of the essentials for thriving in our little paradise. And if you want to earn some bells, he has a rather generous policy of purchasing of just about anything. Not strictly advisable from a business perspective, but quite generous. Yes, yes. Oh, and one more thing. I'm offering a free DIY workshop that can help you really build out your island experience. I think it'd be quite useful, so I do hope you take it up, take me up on it. <laughs> Let's do the workshop. Yes, yes, the DIY workshop. Each participant will make and keep their own tools and receive a set of DIY recipes. I think it'd be quite useful for Island Knife, hmm? Shall I put you down for the next available lesson? Or session, rather. Yes, yes, that's the island spirit. I happen to be free right this very moment, so let's get started. Welcome to my DIY workshop. Or I suppose workshop is overselling it a little bit. When you see how simple it is to DIY or do it yourself, you understand what I mean. The basic idea is to gather materials, follow a recipe, and then craft using a workbench like this one. So today, today we'll be constructing a fishing rod using common materials that you'll find anywhere, yes? For this particular recipe, we require a mere five tree branches. It is admittedly a little flimsy. Now then, come see me once you collected the materials, hmm? You got it. We can thankfully do that relatively easily. Grab some apples along the way. So I think what we'll do is, while we're gathering tree branches, I'm also going to collect the apples and the weeds along the way. I probably should also, um, shake any trees anyways that I have, just in case that they drop something for us. Or, we get stung by a bee. You know, either or. <laughs> It honestly feels so nice to start over. I loved my old island, but it just... It was nice to look at, but it just wasn't the best to play on, so... I'm really excited to just start over, start anew, and just really enjoy this game again. It's not that I wasn't enjoying it before, I, I still very much enjoyed it, but... I think this will give me like a whole new appreciation again. For this just really great game. It's just so calming. I really, really, really love how just relaxing it is to play this. Oh, I found some money. Remember, is there an achievement for picking up weeds? Let's look real quick. Oop, no, wrong one. I want to say there is. Um. Hmm. I think we haven't unlocked it yet. Also, apparently. We can get some Nook Mile tickets for taking a picture. Beautiful. We're making our way towards our goal. Oh, Yo, Biddy! That spot you found me is just incredible. Thanks. I hope we can keep looking out for each other like this. It's good to have buddy ships. Alright, oh, I've got something here for you, chips. 
Thanks again for finding my place for... my place. That denim cap is perfect for Hamu. You can try it on by pressing X to open up your right pockets and then pressing A to select the item you want. Choose where you want to put it on. You can always change it later if you need to work out, Chips. <laughs> How sweet. Thank you. You look beautiful. So Sherry's still asleep, but Lyman is a, is awake, and doing the things. <laughs> ah, Biddy, you found the necessary materials? Hmm? Well then, let's get started on crafting that fishing rod. To begin, select a project for the workbench and get started. Alright, let's make this fishing rod. Beautiful. Yes, that was perfect! As you can see, crafting is quite simple, provided you have the correct recipes. And that concludes my free DIY workshop. Oh, there's just one last thing. I have a few common DIYs for you. Free of charge, naturally. Thanks, Mr. Nook. There we go. Splendid. Thank you. A DIY app is now installed on your phone and ready for you to use at any time. And the flimsy fishing rod you can craft is just yours to keep. It may not last forever, but it should serve you well for a little while at least. Speaking of fishing, I'm no master angler, but perhaps I can give you a few tips. Alright, let's make some extra tools. We got a fishing rod. And a net. Beautiful. An inflatable sofa and a beach ball. Interesting. Okay, let's do this. It'll also be good for me to save the fish I get for a little bit as well for the museum. I believe it's 15 different specimens. And then, uh... I'm working on blathers here. Come on, baby. Oh, cute! A seahorse? But where is it sea jockey? <laughs> oh, goodness. Ooh, that beetle's still there. Let's grab that real quick. Yes! I caught a horned instead. I'd hate to hear it honk that schnoz. <laughs> that is a pretty big nose, but that's okay. Oh, 
I'm honestly really nervous about um, which campsite villager we're gonna get. Oh my gosh. I really hope we get someone cute. It's okay if we don't, but like, it would be amazing if we did. My first ever campsite villager, though, on Booby Isle was a penguin named Tex. He was a smug villager, and, uh... <laughs> I didn't keep him for super long, but he was quite interesting to have. I think penguins are adorable, but he just kind of didn't really fit the theme of my island at the time. And admittedly, I didn't really have a theme for my island for quite a while. It was ever evolving. And then I finally was like, you know what? Screw it. <laughs> Let's do a Harvest Moon style island. It wasn't like a full on, you know, copy of the game, but very inspired. They're, they are some of my all time favorite games, and I love Animal Crossing as well. But Harvest Moon definitely has a, has a soft spot in my heart. It's a very shiny beetle, and it's an earth-boring dung beetle. It's not boring at all. <laughs> it's very pretty. I like how shiny its um its shell is. For I don't know what you technically call that. Let me know in the comments. But it's cute. No, come back! <laughs> yes! I caught a hermit crab! I think it, it did, it did want to be left alone. I, I definitely can confirm that. Poor thing. It's probably just like, what do I, though? I was doing nothing. I was just... Sitting in my shell. Being a good crabby. Oh, that was fast. And we caught a horse mackerel. Of course. Mackerel. <laughs> There's another one. Is this one also a hermit crab? Or is that actually a shell? Oh, it's actually a shell this time. So you got a tree bug. Got it! And we got a evening cicada. Better than the odd ink cicada, by the way. <laughs> Set you over here. Any, um, extra bugs I get, I will, uh... Take to Mr. Nook. And we got a... Drone Beetle. Shouldn't you have propellers? <laughs> Oh my gosh. I want to know who was in charge of, like, making all these, like, little puns and stuff. Because, like, I personally think they're great. Oh, here's another one. Oh my gosh, we're getting so many bugs right now. I think my net might die soon. And we got a Miyama Stag. Its mandibles are jaw-dropping. <laughs> oh my goodness. Yeah, quite the pile going over here. Okay, I think we already have one of these. Grab this just in case. We got a saw stag. Oh, oh, we don't have this. Oh, 
This is another one. Okay. Goodness. Well, we're doing wonderful in the bug department. <laughs> Blathers is gonna hate me, but that's okay. So I look forward to having him on my island. Alright, let's go talk to Mr. Nook real quick. I found a creature. It's a hermit crab. Oh, what a catch. I do believe this is a hermit crab. Hmm. If this island can support a hermit crab... Why, who knows what are fantastic creatures we might find living here. Biddy, I have an idea. An old friend of mine runs a museum, and I'd love to send, him a, send it to him for a closer look. Would you be okay with that? Thank you. I promise I'll take extra good care of your hermit crab. Oh, that reminds me. This is no way tied to your generous donation just now, but I have a useful app to show you. We got the Critterpedia! Woo! I sent you the Critterpedia app. It's a terrific resource for an inspiring island researcher such as yourself. With this one app, you'll get all the important details about the bugs, fish, and sea creatures you catch. I do hope you'll continue filling it up with your discoveries and sharing them with them. Sharing them with me too. I'm sure I'll be able to come up with some kind of dish reward, hmm? I want to sell. We have lots of weeds. And lots of apples. Oh, I don't want to sell the stone either. Whoops. Beautiful. Okay, so we still have 5k miles. I can't remember what we technically needed to do. Alright, so what should I do now? Alright, he wants more bugs. We can do that. <laughs> more bugs and fish. And we also have a Nook Mile thing. Oh, we got two! We got Greedy Weeder! Oh, wow. We've, <laughs> we've already made such good progress on this one. Very nice. We have two of the tiers done. We also sold some stuff. Seller of unwanted stuff. Selling things you don't need is a great way to keep the clutter and earn a few extra spells. And in this case, a few extra miles. Hooray for your first sale. We love that for us. Oh, we can also get some miles for doing a custom design. Beautiful. All right, we need 2,000 more. Making good progress, so I should say. All these weeds. 
Okay, this is very random. I've never seen a butterfly land on something in this game that's like not a flower. I don't know why that just amazed me so much, but it did. Alright, fishy. Please turn. Please. Alright. Maybe turn this time? I believe in you. Turn to the right. Please? Oh, that's the left. Okay. How about I try to throw the bobber a little bit more? Come on. There you go. Oh, I did it too early. I forgot it's four. I gotta remember that. It's been a little while since I fished. Oh, there's a butterfly on this side. Oh, goodness. I just struggled so hard to get the common blue butterfly. What do we have here? We call it our evening cicada, or... Yeah, evening. It was evening. Alright, so there goes our net. Oh, and that gives us Nook Miles. We've caught ten bugs. I love that. We've also got the trash tool one. Very nice. And we got a... A dace! <laughs> I wonder if you have any fish along here. Ooh! I think this might be a bass. It's not super big. So what are ya? It's a bass. <sighs> At least it's a C plus. Remember how wide this is. Oh, do a quick turn. There we go. Perfect. the exterior decorator <laughs> just by putting down stuff <laughs> or well putting down bugs and things you should say <gasps> Ooh. It's a tilapia. <laughs> it's actually really pretty. I mainly have never seen a tilapia in person before, so at least alive. Oh, <laughs> I just realized how how terrible that might sound to say. I do love fish, though. Alright, 
Fourth bite's a charm. Oh, what? Never mind. Maybe I was wrong. Oh well. Oh, shoot. Ah, oh, crap. Now I'm just scaring off all the fish. <laughs> Whoopsies. Oh no. That's okay. Mm, um, maybe you're going for a new look. That seems a little extreme, Chips. Uh, whatever you definitely... Whatever this guy definitely has not been skipping Stinger Day. I wish I had some medicine to give you, but... I didn't want to mess up my aerodynamics, so I didn't bring any. Oh, but I can show you how to make medicine. It's easy to do, and this island's got everything you need. Thanks, Lyman. The last thing you want is to get stung so much you faint. Fainting really cuts into your lap times. So make sure you keep medicine on you, Chips. Thanks, friend. make an apple orchard. I'm just like inspired by like all the apples and stuff they have on the island. I think that'd be so cute. I think we almost got all the weeds up. I think it's just this side of the island that needs a little bit of tea weeding. Picking master, look at me go. <laughs> Trying to pick them up as quick as I can. I wonder how many weeds are away from our, uh, our next nook mile achievement. Oh, I just thought about that. When you get all the achievements, I might have to let my weeds overgrow sometimes in certain areas. That'll be interesting. I must say, though, one thing I am going to try to avoid doing, unless it's, like, obviously flowers and it might change, but at least for weeds, um... I don't think I'm going to use my transparent block pattern around them, but I'll probably do that with certain areas of my flowers, just to kind of help prevent overgrowth as needed. But the weeds can kind of grow out of control if they want to, because it just helps us get our achievements done. <laughs> It will be not a huge deal. Alright, I think I got everything up. Oh, never mind. Spoke too soon. Oh! Goodbye! <laughs> I was not expecting that. I didn't realize there's a... More hanging bugs. I knew about the, uh, I knew about one of them, but that's the first time I've seen that one. <laughs> we now have... Ten thousand bells. Woohoo. Let's see, we have some creatures. 
I have one, but... Oh, we got some more DIY recipes. <gasps> Yay! I just sent you a number of DIY recipes that require wood, along with a recipe to craft an axe. Yes, I think an axe would be quite useful on this island. Alright, let's see, what can we make? I do need to make another, um, net. What else can we make? Oh, we can make the axe. Okay. I can bonk some of the rocks around the island now. <laughs> Oh, we got another Nook Mile thing. Which one is it? Oh, pick a bunch. We picked enough apples now. <laughs> Let's see, we're pretty close to that. What's this? Oh, we get, um... We get Nook Miles if we update our passport. Beautiful. I'll update... I'll update that more later on, but... This works for now. <laughs> oh, we're so close! We just need 500 more. Oh, I don't have a... A shovel. Let's make this a little bit easier on ourselves. Fly and grab that real quick. There we go. And then, um, I think my other rock is down this way. Oh, sorry, sweetie. Sorry, little cicada. Oh, it's the bell rock. <laughs> oh, crap. This is a lot harder. Without a shovel! <laughs> oh, and there's a new butterfly! I haven't gotten this one yet for the island. I'm trying to remember what tree it was. Oh, this is this, this one! This one! Oh, oh! Oh god, it's creepy. I caught a spider! I spied her first! Oh god, I don't want it. Oh. Oh! <laughs> oh god, I'm sorry. I'm I'm a fortune arachnophobic. <gasps> Sherry's awake! Oh, but she's fishing right now. I don't want to interrupt her. A 
I'll get to talk to her um, when she's done doing her thing. Don't wanna, don't wanna get in the way. I'm gathering everything. There we go. Okay. <gasps> oh! We got ten bucks, apparently. Oh, crap. <sighs> That's okay. And then our butterfly for Mr. Nook. Oh, I probably have something else. <gasps> oh! Do we have enough? Oh, we have enough for the debt to be paid! <gasps> Yay! <laughs> That's exciting. Let's see, what are you? Oh, that was fast. Oh, it's another horse mackerel. That's actually perfect. Okay, let's go turn this in. Oh, I guess I could sell to you first real quick. Oh, there's nothing to sell actually. Sorry. There we go. I kind of wish, um, we could keep him more than one at once. Oh, we got Cosmo bag. Okay. Pretty. I wonder if that signifies, um, what kind of flowers we have on the island. Oops, sorry, I didn't need to press the first option. There you go. <gasps> Thank you for the DIY watering can. <laughs> All right. And one more. Oh! Phone call! Hold the phone. Someone's calling. Blathers? Is that you? What splendid timing. Yes, yes. Do you remember the venture we discussed? Well, it's coming to fruition. I'm currently stationed on an island that we decided to call Hamu. Yes, yes. The local fauna is just as, as, as abundant as expected. Just as I told you. Hmm. How many precisely, you ask? Well, there's no way of knowing just yet. I received, let's see, five outstanding specimens so far. Mm-hmm, mm -hmm. What? Seriously? Well, that's very exciting. Oh, you have to excuse me. I'm with a customer right now. I'm sorry to keep you waiting. That was my friend Blathers, the one who curates the museum. Believe it or not, he's going to come to our island and help us identify and preserve the local creatures. Ah, I could use your help, Biddy. So she's done so much scouting and collecting already. Would you be able to help find a spot for Blathers? 
Only a good sized space to really build out a world class museum, so do keep that in mind. This is so exciting. It's all coming together. Yes, yes. You got it, boss. Put it up here. A little bit further, maybe? Oh, okay. Apparently we can't put that there. Okay, well... Um... It's only a temporary spot anyway, so I can always just... Just move it later. Tickets. How exciting. There you go. Ah, Biddy. I take it you found a suitable spot for Blathers to set up, hmm? I did. I knew I could count on you. Thank you. I'll let Blathers know he can move in as soon as he wants. By the way, Biddy, you are saving up Nook Miles, right? There's no rush to pay me back, of course. I'm just excited to see the program in action. I got a few tips for racking up the old Nook Miles, so don't hesitate to ask me if you need a little advice. And with that, your moving fees have been paid in full. This is a happy day for both of us, hmm? Yes, yes, and you're free and clear of debt. Living on a thriving, scenic island, what could be better? Oh, that wasn't actually a rhetorical question. Let me be more specific. How is that tent treating you? Oh, just fine, but consider doing fine on a formerly deserted island is actually quite good. Together, we are reshaping this barren waste, well, I mean, pristine paradise into a lovely community. Ah, yes. But we mustn't rest on our laurels, hmm? Perhaps there's something more we could do. Yes. I suppose the time has come to discuss the possibilities of building a custom homes. Now, there are certain challenges to building fabulous homes in a remote location such as this. Challenges that do translate directly into cost, I'm afraid. But with zero interest financing and extreme lax repayment plan, anything is possible. So Biddy, if you ever find yourself in a new in an interested in a new home, come see me. Oh, and one more thing to share. We have a miles redemption service for Nook Miles you've collected. When you access the Nook Shop, you'll be able to redeem your miles for lots of interesting things. You should be able to check it out sometime soon. Well then, I hope you continue enjoying your getaway package life. I am ready for a bigger home! Yes, let's do it. I would like a different color. I would like aqua. Closest to my favorite. <laughs> oh, one more thing. Homeowners get an automatic Nook Mileage program upgrade. Just give me a moment. Yes, yes. There we go. I've updated your program membership details. Now, when you use Nook Miles app, you'll have access to all the Nook Miles Plus benefits. Nook Mile, Nook Mile Plus benefits include a nifty way to earn additional miles 
for special circumstances. You'll see the details when you launch the app, so give it a good look when you can. That is all for me. Your new wonderful home should be ready tomorrow. Quite exciting, yes? <laughs> that is very exciting. Yes, yes. That is the question. By the way, thank you so much for finding a place that bothers to set up. Ah, we are looking for a practical suggested suggestion, hmm? Well, your lovely future home is already under construction, so... Perhaps it's time, time, it's time to start thinking about furnishings. May I humbly suggest checking out Nook Shopping at the Nook Stop? Oh, how could I forget? A brief explanation about that terminal. That is our Nook Stop. It's a terminal for services that will further enhance your island life. Of course, you can use this terminal from Catalog Shopping to as an ABD or Nook Redeem Nook Miles. Huzzah! Oh my gosh, there's so many things we can redeem that I can't afford yet. <laughs> Eventually we can, but not yet. Beautiful. Oh, heck yeah. I gave us quite a bit of Nook Miles. Perfect. Okay. Well then. <laughs> Let's see if there's anything else that Mr. Nook wants us to do. Okay, he just wants to do furnishing. Well. I think that's gonna be it at the end for today's episode. Please remember to like and subscribe and comment down below if you are enjoying this playthrough. Um, it's been a lot of fun to play Animal Crossing and just restarting and just taking my time, really. <laughs> I will see you all again on Monday for another video. Uh, they'll also be featuring my stream. So be sure to check me out. My socials are down below if you want to check out the Twitch stream on Monday. And have a great day. Thank you so much again for watching. Bye!